Welcome back everyone. In this video we are going to cover pick and pack fees, also called shipping fees. It is the fee that Amazon charges you to ship your product through Fulfilled by Amazon, through FBA. So I'm just going to write that up here, right here, so we all know what we're talking about. We are discussing pick and pack fees. Right, so this is the money Amazon charges you to sell their product to the end consumer using their fulfillment network. Now, there's a few different tiers and a few different categories we're going to cover here. And you may be asking yourself, like Eric, why is this important? And I can explain that to you so you clearly understand the importance of understanding pick and pack fees. And the reason is Amazon is a huge marketplace. They sell millions and millions of products. It's very easy for them to incorrectly charge a pick and pack fee, which means they are taking money out of your pocket. I want as much money back into my pocket when I'm selling on Amazon as possible. I want to put as much money back in here as possible, and I know you do as well. That's why you're doing this. That's why you're hustling every day and grinding. So my goal is to train you to understand these pick and pack fees so you can fill your pockets up and not fill Amazon's pockets up. If you understand the information that I'm discussing in this video, it's going to allow you to identify outliers in the Amazon pick and pack fees where you are being charged more money. And it might not seem like a lot, 38 cents here, 38 cents there, but if you multiply that by hundreds, if not thousands of sales over the course of a year, it adds up to thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars. So it's important to understand this information and then you would submit what is called a Cuba scan request. So you create a case with the ASIN, if you believe and you did the math that I'm about to show you, that the math is incorrect and they are incorrectly charging you a pick and pack fee, you simply create a case, hey, I believe this ASIN is being charged incorrectly. This is the proper measurement. This is the proper weight. This is the proper FBA fee. Can you please run this product through your Cuba scan? And what Amazon will do is run it through their Cuba scan, which is an electronic machine that uses sensors to weigh and measure the product, and then they recalculate the pick and pack fee. We do this all the time, and we get those pick and pack fees dropped down to what they're supposed to be when Amazon was charging us a higher fee. So the first category we kind of want to dive into here is oversize. It's important to understand oversize because the fee to sell oversize is greater than it would be for large standard or small standard products. So the fee to ship an oversized product, and we're only going to look at the first tier here. So oversized has small oversized, medium oversized, large oversized, special oversized, and they change these fees every single year. And what I do is I actually, you can just type FBA pick and pack fees in your search bar at Amazon, and then you can print this out. But it will be attached at the top of this video, so you can just print it out from there. It's organized a little better, it has all the fee structures, and it's really a game changer. But so we're just going to look at the small oversized because that's 21 pounds to 71 pounds. Unless you're selling furniture or bicycles or canoes or something, you're really not going to be outside of that category of 71 pounds or greater. And if you are, you could spend some time exploring these oversized product tiers and get to understand them for your specific business. But in this video, we're not going to cover those because 99.99% .99 of you are not selling large products like that that weigh a lot. So the small oversized tier, the fee is number one, it's 71 pounds or less. So oversized for the first tier is 21 to 71 pounds. Now if it's within this range, it falls into this small oversized category and the cost to fulfill an oversized product in this category is 826 for the first two pounds. So first two pounds and then it is 38 cents for each additional pound over two pounds just wanted to get into first what oversize is 21 to 70 pounds and 71 pounds and now there's one more requirement that can land a product in oversize and that's if any of the dimensions are greater than the following dimensions I'm going to give you and those dimensions are 8 inches by 14 inches by 18 inches. So if any dimension on the smallest side is greater than 8 inches, the product is oversized. Or if a dimension is greater than 14 inches, that product is oversized. Or if a 
product dimension is greater than 18 inches on its longest size, that product is oversized. So I'm going to show you a quick example here so you can understand exactly what I'm talking about. So let's say we're selling a product and its smallest dimension is 6 inches, its medium dimension is 10 inches, and its longest dimension is 19 inches. Now, we're going to check this product to see if it's oversized. So 6 is not greater than 8, so it's not oversized. 10 is not greater than 14, so it's not oversized. But then we get here, 19 is greater than 18. So because this one dimension exceeds the oversized requirements, this product now becomes an oversized product. So this product would now fall into your small oversized category, where it would be charged $8.26 for your first two pounds and $0.38 cents for each additional pound after two pounds. So let's say we have a product that weighs, its actual weight is 10 pounds. We could do the math on that. So the first two pounds are instantly $8.26. So we instantly have $8.26 for the first two pounds. And then what's that leave? That leaves eight pounds left over. So, So if I bust out my calculator here and I do 8 pounds times 0 0.38 because that's the fee for each additional pound over the first two pounds. So we'll do 8 times 0.38, that equals 304. So that's an additional $3.04 for these additional 8 pounds. And now we get, we'll do some basic math here, we get 0, this becomes a 1, this becomes a 3 and this becomes 11. So the pick and pack fee for this product that weighs 10 pounds and is an oversized product is 1130. It's crucial to understand these oversized fees. We make a lot of money on oversized. We probably do about $60,000 a month in oversized products. And the good thing about oversized products is that they're usually a little more costly. So they'll get, their, they'll get your ASP up, your average selling price up. They'll increase your profit margin a little. But if you don't understand the fee structure for oversized, you could be missing out on a lot of opportunity because especially a lot of these oversized products have never been sold FBA. So they're missing this information. But if you know the dimensions and the weight of the product, you can figure it out. This is like the basis of it, right? Because now we're going to get into actual weight and dimensional weight, which really changes this whole thing up. This is like the foundation here. If you can understand this, that okay, the product weighs 10 pounds, so it's 8.26 for the first two pounds, and then there's eight pounds left over, so it's 38 cents times eight pounds equals 304. Total fulfillment cost is 11.30, because let's say one of the dimensions was over this dimensional requirement, right? So that's the basic of it. But now we're going to really get into dimensional weight versus actual weight and why it's important to understand that. And also that Amazon has a standard that they actually add to each product they ship for packaging. So first we're going to look at that. And the standard for one pound or less that Amazon adds to the weight of the product is four ounces. And then a standard size product, one pound or more, is also four ounces. And now an oversized product is one pound, and a special oversized. is also one pound. So Amazon adds these weights to the weight of the product. All right, so now what we're gonna look at is standard size product tiers. So we're going to look at product tiers. And there are seven different product tiers that we're going to be reviewing. Two small standard and five large standards. So these are products that are less than 21 pounds and don't have a dimension greater than eight by 14 by 18, which we eliminated in the previous talk where we discussed oversized products. So the first product here we're going to look at is small standard, 
10 ounces or less. And the cost to ship a product that's small standard 10 ounces or less is $2.50. Now the next category we're going to look at is once again the second small standard category. And it's 10 ounces to 16 ounces. And the cost to ship a product in this category is $2.63. And this is why FBA is so competitive, right? Because I know for us to ship a product from our fulfillment center, from our facility right here, which is downstairs, using first class shipping, the, the cheapest we can get it is $2.93. So instantly, these two categories, which are 16 ounces or less, which is first class mail, we're paying $2.93, but Amazon is only charging us $2.50 and $2.63. And that's why FBA is such a profitable and lucrative business because of this savings right here. That's 43 cents savings in shipping. This is a 30 cents savings in shipping. You multiply that by thousands of products a year, you're making a nice chunk of money. All right, now the next category, we're gonna get into the large standard now. So the next one is large standard. And it's the same as this, except large standard, so it's 10 ounces or less. And the cost to ship a product in this category is $3.31. Alright, so $3.31 to ship a large standard 10 ounces or less. And now the next one is this category, again, just large standard. And it's 10 ounces to 16 ounces. And the cost to ship a product in this category is $3.48. All right, so we got small standard, small standard, large standard, large standard. Now there's three more categories left we're going to look at. And this is just the base of the information. And then we're going to dive into the difference between actual weight and dimensional weight, which will really analyze, allow you to analyze which tier your product falls into. Now the next category we're going to look at is large standard, one to two pounds. one to two pounds, and the cost to ship a product that's one to two pounds equals $4.90. And now the next category is large standard two to three pounds. Two to three pounds, and the cost to ship a product in this category is $5.42. And now the last tier is large standard. Three to 21 pounds, right? Because if you get greater than 21, you then become oversized. So large standard, three to 21 pounds. And the cost to ship this type of product is 542 for the first three pounds and then 38 cents for each additional pound. So this is for the first three pounds. And let me actually get a new sheet here. We're gonna do large standard on a completely different sheet. So once again, we got large standard, three to 21 pounds, and the cost to ship it is $5.42 for the first three pounds and 38 cents for each additional pound. All right, so let's say we have a product that after we add this four ounces to, on the previous page, after we add this four ounces to, for a pound or more, the weight becomes, let's just say, seven pounds, right? So the first three pounds, so seven pounds we have over here, the first three pounds equals this 542. And now seven minus three is four pounds. So we have four pounds left over times 0 
Let me just do some basic math here. So four pounds times 38, well, four times 0.4 would be 160 minus eight, so it's 152. So now we have the original 542 plus 152, and then we get our total, which is 694. Right, so the cost of a product that weighs seven pounds after you've added the four ounces that Amazon adds to ship the product would be $6.94. Now let me just check my math here so I make sure I'm accurate. Exactly, $6.94. Math checks out. All right, so now we need to discuss actual weight versus dimensional weight. And if you need a break here, just pause, go grab a drink, grab a coffee, energy drink, a snack, whatever, because this is a lot of information. I love talking about it, I could talk about it for days, but this is a lot of information to grab. And now we're gonna get into actual weight versus dimensional weight. And if you're ever wondering where you can find this information, if you're using any type of Chrome extension that calculates profits, 95% of them have the actual weight and the dimensions of the product. For example, the Amazon FBA calculator, um, AMZ Scout extension, um, RevSeller, all of these Chrome extensions have the shipping weight and the shipping dimensions of the product. And that's where you're gonna be able to pull this information to double check to make sure you're not being overcharged pick and pack fees. All right, so let's dive into actual and dimensional weight. So actual weight, equals the actual weight of the product. So we'll call this AWP. Actual weight of the product is actual. That's what Amazon refers to when they're talking about the actual weight. Now dimensional weight, this is where some math comes in. Dimensional weight is an equation. It's a pretty straightforward equation. Now what Amazon uses to determine whether they're gonna use the dimensional weight or the actual weight is whichever one is greater. So the equation for dimensional weight is length times width times height divided by 139. And whatever the outcome of this equation is, if it is greater than the actual weight, Amazon then uses the new outcome of the dimensional weight as the new weight to calculate the pick and pack fees. And we're gonna go through an example of this because this can sound kind of confusing, but we're gonna dive into an example here. Well, I'm an example guy, I wanna see things visually. So right here, we're about to check out this cookies, chips, snacks listing, which is a 50 pack. And it's a great example that really shows how Amazon's choosing dimensional weight over actual weight for a specific product. So let's take a quick look at this listing. All right, now that you saw that listing, you're going to see in the Amazon FBA calculator that for this chips, cookies, and snacks listing, 50 count, that the dimensions in inches of this product in inches of this product is 5.12 by 10.31 by 14.17, right? And the weight of this product is 4.205 pounds. So this is the actual weight. And now what we're going to do is calculate the dimensional weight. So let's just keep in mind here that Amazon pick and pack fee, you can see right here, they are charging $6.56. So let's keep that in mind because this is the number we're going to try to get to. We're going to try to get to this $6.56. So first we need to figure out the dimensional weight, right? Because they gave us the dimensions. Now we're going to refer back to this equation length times width times height divided by 139. 
Now 139, Amazon uses 139, most companies use 144, and my understanding, Amazon loves making money, don't we all? But when you divide a number by a smaller number, you get a larger outcome. So for them, that means more money on FBA fees. If they were to divide this number by 144, it would make the outcome smaller instead of larger. So they choose 139 so they can make a bunch more money. All right, so now we're gonna do some math here. We're going to do length times width times height. So we're going to do 5.12 times 10.31 times 14.17, and we get 747.99462, and then we're going to divide that by 139, and it's going to give us an outcome, which becomes the dimensional weight, which is 5.3812. So 5.3812, and it's pounds. Now you're probably asking yourself, how did I divide inches by an arbitrary number of 139 and it becomes pounds? Because this is the dimensional weight equation that Amazon provides. And they're saying that when you do length times width times height, and you divide it by 139, that the outcome becomes the dimensional weight. And if the dimensional weight is greater than the actual weight, which in this case it is, then the dimensional weight governs the pick and pack fee for the product. So this product's dimensional weight is 5.3812 pounds and its actual weight is 4.205 pounds. So what we do in this instance is we disregard its actual weight and now we figure out what the cost of the dimensional weight is to ship this product FBA. So, let me swing back here real quick and we go back to our equation and it looks like it's $5.42 for the first three pounds and 38 cents for each additional pound. This is the equation we're using for this new dimensional weight number to find how much it's going to cost for Amazon to ship this product. Now you can't forget, you always got to add your 0.25 pounds for the four ounces that Amazon adds this product if it's going to take you over that six pound mark. And like I said before, the only time I would consider even doing the math of adding that 0.25 pounds for the four ounces is if it was a number like 5.76 or 6.79, because when you add that 0.25 to one of these numbers, it then takes it to the next pound. But in this case, even if we add 0.25 to 5.381, it's still going to be less than six pounds. So it's not going to take us to that seven pound mark. So in this case, just visually looking at it, knowing that adding that 0.25 pounds won't take us over that mark, we know we're good to go. And this product is actually being calculated at six pounds. So now is where the math comes in, right? So we got 542 for the first three pounds, and then we got three pounds left over. So if we do three times 0 0.38, what do we got? 8, 16, 24, what is that, 114, three times 0.38 equals 114. So now we're going to add the additional three pound charge to this first three pound charge, 114. And when we do that, we get six, five, six. And look at that. What do you know? We figured out the dimensional weight, the FBA pick and pack fee by using these equations to get Amazon's exact pick and pack fee for this product. 656, 656. Everything matches up. That's exciting shit if you ask me. Right? So now we just figured out how Amazon's calculating the fees for this product by doing these simple equations. It's so basic. And the best part is, when you start to understand this, you start to open up all of these different thought processes that go on in your head. This is great information to understand if you're building a private label product, because if you can manipulate the packaging to where you're changing the dimensions of the product, you can actually save on shipping, right? Or even your bundles and variety packs. If you could package them a certain way, let's say you're selling a six pack of chips, Right? You might not want to package them all six together so it's this long because the dimensional weight might be greater than if you packaged them two, two, two or three by three. 
if you switch up the dimensions of the product and the way that you package a product, you can actually save on dimensional weight, which will in turn decrease your FBA fees for that product. Now, some products to look out for where the dimensional weight calculation may be inaccurate are like cereals, chips, like this snacks listing we looked at, you know, pillows if you're selling pillows, maybe slippers, stuff like that. Stuff that's light but large is where really the dimensional weight will override the actual weight for those specific products. So we covered a lot of information here. And I just want to do a quick little recap so we all understand exactly what's going on. First, we went over oversized, which is 21 to 71 pounds. It's 826 for the first two pounds, and then 38 cents for each additional pound up to 71 pounds. The dimensional requirements for oversize are eight by 14 by 18. So if any of your dimensions, your smallest is greater than eight, your medium is greater than 14, or your large is greater than 18, your product then becomes an oversized product. And then we looked at what Amazon adds to package weights for charging FBA pick and pack fees. And for one pound or less, they add four ounces. For one pound or more, they add four ounces. For anything oversized, they add a pound. And for special oversized, they add a pound as well. And then we took a look at the different product tiers. We went over small standard 10 ounces or less, which is $2.50. We went over small standard 10 to 16 ounces, which is $2.63. And then we have large standard 10 ounces or less, which is $3.31 to ship. We have large standard 10 to 16 ounces, which is $3.48 to ship. And then we got three more tiers over here. Large standard one to two pounds, which is $4.90. Then we have large standard two to three pounds, which is $5.42. And then for the large standard three to 21 pounds, they take this $5.42 from the large standard, and then they say it's for the first three pounds, and anything over that is 0 0.38 cents per pound up to 21 pounds because as soon as you pass 21 pounds you then jump into the oversized charges for that product and then we did some math on a large standard product right we said we had a seven pound product so for the first three pound it was 542 leaving four pounds left over so we did four times 0.38 so we put the 542 here we added the charge for the additional four pounds, which is $1.52, and we got the pick and pack fee for this large standard product using its actual weight was $6.94. And then we covered dimensional weight, and we went over the equation for dimensional weight, and dimensional weight is length times width times height divided by 139. Actual weight versus dimensional weight. I see it all the time. People submit cases. I can't imagine how many cases Amazon gets like this. Even about three years ago, I would submit cases like this until I learned about pick and pack fees. I would be looking at the weight of the product, calculating its fees, and getting real angry with Amazon and telling them they're overcharging me for pick and pack fees when I had no idea what dimensional weight was or how to calculate it. So if we can alleviate the amount of emails that Amazon receives, it will make their customer service a much better experience for third-party sellers as a whole. So if you can understand this information, it will save you a lot of grief and them a lot of grief of dealing with angry customers who end up being wrong like I was three years ago. And then we went over example of a dimensional product, which I'll show again right here. And you can see the dimensions in the FBA calculator along with the weight in the FBA calculator and it says the dimensions in inches was 5.12 by 10.31 by 14.17 so we multiplied those together and we got 747.99462 we divided that by 139 because we're using that length times width times height divided by 139 equation and our outcome was 5.381 and this becomes pounds. So when you divide the length times the width times the height by 139, the outcome is in pounds. And if this outcome of the dimensional weight is greater than the actual weight, which was 4.2, this dimensional weight governs, and then you start doing your math. So we had 
$5.42 for the first three pounds. Amazon rounds this up to six pounds because it's greater than five, so they round it up to six pounds. And then we had three additional pounds left over. So we did three times 0.38, and we got 542 plus 114 equals 656. And just to take a look again at this pick and pack fee for this specific product, it is 656. So now you have all the information and you can arm yourself with the facts of how to understand pick and pack fees. Now, keep in mind, not gonna go over in this video, but there are slightly different pick and pack fees for FBA hazmat products as well as apparel, and there's some other categories in there as well. So I want you to spend some time exploring the link that we provide you in the above document so you can understand this information because maybe you sell a lot of apparel, maybe you sell a lot of FBA hazmat products. Hazmat products are anywhere from you know 25 cents to a dollar more expensive in those same tiers that we went over. So it's important to understand this information. I hope you absorbed it and I hope you're understanding it more than you ever have understood it before. And if this is the first time you're being introduced to it, welcome to Amazon FBA. See you in the next video. Stay with it.